Hello, Byron and Nora here. Hi. You, as always, you're not excited. That's okay. Not everyone's made for the star lifestyle, but you're a natural star. Anyway, here's Lord Byron. Look how big he is. Look how cute he is. Sorry if he's ruining the mic for you guys. <laughs> this is his Instagram. This is my Instagram. Anywhere. Anywhere's fine. <laughs> And we're back with the most beautiful story about Baron and Emma, two star-crossed lovers. And I'll tell you why they're star-crossed, because they're kind of somewhat related on paper, but not by blood. So, you know, it's not a big deal, whatever. But yeah, so our girls, Emma, traveled half across the world to go stalk her mans. And now that they're together, a lot of secrets are going to be revealed. So let's see what happens, chapter 13. And give this video a like and let's go. Oh God, he's here again. Oh yeah, in the previous chapter, someone, Jamie Pierre, released some um, <clears throat> rude photographs of us that he took illegally and without our permission. Miss Natty, I wasn't expecting you. You are a greedy bad old man. How could you do this to Emma? I beg your pardon? You took inappropriate pictures of her and sold them to the highest bidding tabloids. I don't know what you're talking about. Do not play stupid with me. What is this? You want to ruin Emma just so you can get your hands on her company. You want to take her down so you can take advantage of the situation. You were mistaken, Natty. Am I? The pictures were taken here while she was changing. How dare you put cameras into the changing room? How dare you publish those inappropriate pictures all over the internet? You messed with the wrong people. That's right, because we're telling Baron and her dad and uncle and family friends because they're all scary. <laughs> Prepare yourself. We never lose a battle. Uh, bye. Finally, the war has begun. I made the first move. I'll make the last one too. Yeah, I don't think so, but you can try. I've never lost a battle either. I gave him the silent treatment since his dumb joke from this morning, but God, it smells really good and I'm starving. Oh yeah, he told us that he like totally hooked up with every single girl that was downstairs. And not funny, Baron, okay? Not funny. And I'm jealous and insanely mad right now. Why does he have to be an incredible cook along with his good looks and like amazing personality? Oh my God, look at her face, look at her face. <laughs> Everything about him is at a high level. Those abs of his, yummy. His hair, aw, I'm screwed. Big time. He looks like a top model, one that you pay genuine money to get for a photo shoot that you spend hours looking at. I kid you not. Everything he does is with a definite purpose. He plays mind games with you and you wouldn't even know. You know, girl, because you're his priority, right? He's good at reading people. That's why he doesn't ask many questions. He already knows the answers. Yeah, it's a eat or be eaten world, girl. He survived here for five years. That's why I'm in love with him. He's not like the rest. He knows exactly what I feel just by looking at me. So he knows you're hungry? I'm not surprised every woman likes him. I mean, why would I be? Right? Those women wrecked my morning. Why can't I control my jealousy? Am I not beautiful? Pretty sure you are. Have they even seen a gorgeous woman before? I'm wondering. Why Baron? No matter where he goes, he gets the attention he deserves with little effort. Uh, why does he have to be perfect? On top of that, he knows how to cook. Fork it! He's my man and no one can have him. Ugh. I was just thinking of carrying you in here bridal style. Yeah, I'm not against it. Should I go back? If you give me one of those sweet kisses, I'll take you somewhere nice. A date? Really? I'll even let you drive my car. I told you he's good. He knows how much I like to be in control. I wonder if those shallow women drove his car. Grr. Of course not, Emma. Stop letting the jealousy ruin the moment. What if I give you more than one kiss? You'll end up on the kitchen table? One kiss it is. Are you blushing, Biscuit? <laughs> Me? I'm blushing? Oh, shut up! I made your favorite. Everything you do is my favorite. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I said I'm very hungry. Sometimes your pride is bigger than you are. Uh, yeah, like always. Here, here, Captain. There's Diana. Or is that, what's her name? I forgot. <laughs> is she sleeping? Look at her, Luna. She sleeps so peacefully with no worries in the world. I wish our lives would have turned out that way. What's the deal between you and your mother? We never got along. I don't understand why she's back. 
It's been years since I heard from her. Normally, she contacts us when her funds are flat. Do you support her financially? It was the only way to keep her quiet. We didn't want her around. Money kept her away. Then why is she against you? Ryder won't agree to pay her checks when he just spent a few hours in a cell by her orders. That's exactly what I'm wondering too. Uh-oh. Finally! I was thinking something happened to you. Do you know how worried I was? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, love. Aw. I've got so many things on my plate right now. You're not alone, Ty. Talk with me, please. Why don't you let me in? I can't talk about work with anyone, you know that. I'm not anyone. I'm your fiancé, for heaven's sake. It's not fair what you do, Ty. It's not fair to disappear for days and I don't even know if you're still alive. <laughs> I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with us. I'm caught in the middle of a huge mess and I don't even know how to solve it. Baby, I promise I'm not doing anything purposely. It's not my intention to hurt your feelings while well, you're hurting them. You're the most important person to me. You just need to have a blind faith in me. That's all. Just blind faith. What if there's another woman? Are you in love with someone else? <laughs> How can I be in love with someone else when I have the most beautiful girl in front of me? Do you promise? I swear, you're the only woman I want, need, love. Okay, I have faith in you. That was easy. I love you so much, I can't explain. I love you more. What do I want to wear? Let's see. Ooh, rocker check. Let's try something else. Ooh, a preppy rocker check. Let's try something else. Yeah, no, you're gonna get like, Mm, no, I don't want, I like outfit too, it's very her. I like one, like personally, but uh, outfit two is very her. Nothing. Oh, actually, let's give her some red lips. Where's red? There you go, she looks perfect. This is what you call nice? Why are you so snobby, Emma? No, you're my type of nice. What exactly are we doing here? Come with me, we're not there yet. Um, is it safe to be here? Baby, relax, I know the place and the people around here. For once, let me take the lead, okay? Man, she must be so annoying to be around. I don't know how she has friends. I end up doing it quite often lately. Good, the sooner you get used to it, the better. Close your eyes, baby. Baron, no way, I will not close my eyes. I knew you'd say that. That's why I have a blindfold. Huh? I knew it. A blindfold, are you kidding me? Stay still, woman. I don't like it when I... Trust me, baby, shh. Let your guard down a little. I'm right behind you. Yeah, but what's in front of me? Keep it quiet for a few minutes, please. Why? Trust me, you won't regret it. Jesus. I'm starting to lose my patience with her. Open your sweet eyes, angel. Finally! <gasps> Fireflies! Yay! So cute! Wow, I... I love you, Angel. Aw, I'm gonna say it, duh. We, we came all the way here to say it. I love you, Baron. Fireflies, so beautiful. Mwah. And then we're smooching in the evening light, surrounded by fireflies. One night I was very, very wasted. I missed you and I ended up drinking my brains out. I ended up here by mistake. Our moments together started to feel heavy to carry around in my soul. I was lost, completely lost. He's opening up to us. I was about to lose my temper, my entire world. And then these fireflies lit up one by one. I saw the beauty in the dark. Well, you saw something in the dark. Then I realized what we are, beautiful darkness. Because of them, I never stopped loving you. Hold the phone? You never stopped loving me because of fireflies? Okay, I'll take it, I guess. This is what you do to my heart. You're glowing inside me. Never doubt my love for you, angel. Our souls are connected. Forever, no matter where we are, what we do, when we see each other, I will always carry you in my heart. No one has given me moments like this to remember for life. Only you. I'm sorry for every single drop of pain I caused in the past. Don't think for one second that my heart wasn't dying every day. I'm not blaming you, Angel. The circumstances made us do crazy things. Because your love makes me a different person. You are everything to me. I swear it. Kiss me, Baron. Don't need to tell me twice, Angel. And thus, we had a romantic evening. Whoever you are, go away. I'm looking for Captain Baron Bayer. Shoot. Oh, oh my god, are they gonna date? Yara's gonna be his new girlfriend. I hope, I hope. Dear Lord, my mind's racing fast. Did he fall out of the heavens? What are you doing here, Doc? Where is he? Did something happen to him? He's not coming back to the hospital. General already knows. I don't understand. Come on in, I'll explain. <sighs> oh, 
I'm so excited for them. Drink? No, water, please. His fiance is here. Does the captain have a fiance? He's loved her for a very long time, dog. Give me something stronger. <laughs> I have a question myself. Do you know how to heal hearts, dog? <gasps> nice, baby. We'll heal your heart. Is your heart broken, sergeant? Right there, on the floor, at your feet, dog. <laughs> My shattered heart. Bring the bottle. My heart is there, too. Aw, did you like... Baron, what's happening? Look down. Crush your heart with your feet, Doc, while my lips devour yours. Okay, Knight. I didn't see this lion coming out. Okay, I like this. Take charge. This is wrong. But it feels good, doesn't it? Yes. Well, now everyone has a boo, a bay, a love, a significant other. What have you got? Hello to you too, sir. I don't have time for small talk. Speak. Right. The pictures you gave me match a well-known fashion designer. Her net worth is around 10 million a month. A month? Okay. So we're wealthy? Shoot. She's rich. At least the captain wasn't lying. What else? Where is she from? Tell me the names of her family, friends, any relatives she's got. Ugh. You're not going to believe this. What is it? Who is she? Speak. I've made my mind on something. What is it, love? I'm not going home. I'm staying here with you until your contract is over. I'm leaving everything behind for you. Whoa, okay, intense. Chapter Roo. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What do you think Baron's answer is gonna be? I feel like he's gonna totally reject the idea. He's gonna be like, yeah, honey, no, not after everything I invested in your business. <laughs> Also, the general is going to find out about our family and he is going to try to get revenge on us. And then he's going to find out that I'm his daughter. And then like stuff is going to hit the fan. So it's going to be intense, dramatic. Stay tuned, guys. We're getting through this together. And then we're going to see how everything happened by the previous stories. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a huge like. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys later. Bye.